attaching things together has been a challenge for humanity for thousands of years, starting before recorded history with birch bark tar. Adhesives have made slow progress over the years, progressing through various stages from the wood glue of the Egyptians to the appearance of mortar with the Greeks and caulk and sealant with the Romans. While they solve many problems, even modern day glues and epoxies have certain disadvantages. Some examples of these include high permeability to air and moisture, often a low shelf life, low stability at high temperatures, and they do not effectively conduct electricity or heat. One way to solve some of these problems with adhesives is to instead use welding and soldering. Joining from such processes as compared to glue is mechanically strong, effectively conducts electricity and heat, degrades slowly if at all in ambience, and its leak resistance to air and moisture is very good and can even increase over time due to oxidation. These are significant advantages, but at a significant cost, that is, very high heat must be used. In some cases, this is not a problem. But in others, however, this heat would be catastrophic and simply cannot be tolerated, such as near delicate electronic components. If there was a way to make a glue out of a metal that would set up at room temperature, we could combine the advantages of gluing and welding while eliminating many of the disadvantages. This is just what we have accomplished. By using unique properties of matter that occur when things are very, very small, we use these nanostructures to make metal glue a reality. One way we do this is to make tiny columns, or nanorods, out of very pure metals. When we press these together, they slide between each other, and by a process called fast surface diffusion, they, in a sense, melt together and reform into one solid piece of metal, forming a very strong bond. A second method is to coat the nanorods with other metals. When these are brought together, the fast surface diffusion forms an actual liquid metal that is better able to fill in the gaps and allows us to use many other kinds of metal as the primary nanorod component. This technology will impact many areas, the largest being electrical contacts between chips and devices to circuit boards. Our ambient metal glue will allow these components to be bonded together with only low pressure, eliminating the heat involved in the complexity of soldering. Another application is the attachment of delicate electronics to heat sinks. Here we're comparing the commonly used thermal grease to our metallic glue. In this case, we have a uh, CPU attached with a heat spreader to the heat sink using thermal grease. The grease here gets uh, pumped out over time due to thermal cycling and can cause gaps in this interface, uh, causing poor heat transfer. This is simulating a, a direct dye attachment to the heat sink without the, the heat spreader. Here we can see that grease getting pumped out uh, after this has been thermal cycled. This is the metallic glue attachment. It's a permanent attachment and uh, so it doesn't, it doesn't experience any of that pumping out. Um, and here we can see it's a very thin solid seal to the heat sink directly from the, the silicon wafer. Additionally, materials with much different coefficients of thermal expansion can be easily hermetically bonded together, such as glass to metal. This may impact the light bulb industry and other glass encapsulated devices, as well as viewports for inspection in vacuum chambers and other industrial processes. We are excited to be able to offer the unique adhesive solution to many problems, a room temperature metallic glue, and hope that it is of interest and benefit to you. Thanks.